not give Hoagie the, the time that he had in the, in the first round. It's better from Kalik, but I think Holgate's still just about won the round. Have you ever wondered why all... Well, signs of this uh, one beginning to get more interesting in that. on the left and he thoughts Glenn at this point well I thought Kelly did a, a little better in the second round maybe he just shared the, the spoil but he, he's just still a little bit ragged but he was stopping the work of Hogan Hogan's got to get back to his rhythm again and start letting his punches go he's allowing Kelly to, to push him onto the back foot Kelly getting busier and more confident must have something about him to have become an ABA champion there weren't much signs in his amateur career before that that he had that kind of talent but he suddenly came through to get the championship the thing with Holgate as well at 28 years of age he's going to have to get a move on now if he's going to make a dent at championship level yes I think that really what looked missing in, in, Col in Holgate's career is he, he's never looked in a rush you know, he's never fought really aggressively and, and like he, he needs to do something quickly and I think that's what he's got to do. He's got to speed everything up and have a little bit more aggression to his work. I must say I feel sorry for pros on the way through. I mean he's won all nine, straight punch that one, the right hand. But somehow these days it's so competitive you have to do more than just win and be competent. You have to be exciting and get uh, people talking about you in the newspapers, on the radio and television. Uh, very demanding lot to ask a, a, a young fighter it certainly is but I mean he's still he's still undefeated he's still more making progress and really if he keeps undefeated the opportunities will come and then really he just has to, to, to seize them when they do it's a fair left hand from Holgate better punch economy about him although there's no doubt about it the mood has changed slightly since the opening round Carly looks more of a factor in the fight. Hogi is looking to plant his feet and land with the heavier punches, but a little bit too much the, the single punch. He's got to start picking it up now, starting to put his punches together. I don't know how heavy-handed this Carleek is. He had his debut opponent on the floor three times. Just be maybe can bang a bit. Hard to say really this early on. Yes, there's enough in this fight as yet to, sh to show that Kalik is a heavy puncher. Oh, he left himself wide open to the right hand, Carly. And again, amateurish traits. Holgate taking advantage. Gaps were left and Holgate more or less helped himself. Yes, he did. Yes, as you said, Ian, there was amateur traits there which Holgate capitalized on, made, made him pay for that. Some good, good hooks from Holgate. I say Holgate's looking a pretty good, maturing, solid pro in this one so far. He got caught there, but he's winning the fight. Sunday League Cricket tomorrow over at Sky Sports 3, final weekend of the league season. The wire coverage of both deciders begins with Yorkshire against Kent tomorrow afternoon from 1 on Sky Sports 3. Here, live tonight at the London Arena, a good welterweight contest to get the live action on the Thanks a lot. And a reminder, our top of the bill is the British title fight. Jeff McCreesh, Paul Scrapper and Ryan. Stay tuned for that. Fourth round of this one, Martin Holgate in the red trunks. The black of Jawaid Karlik, the ex-ABA champion. I say ex was last year. The whole game had a better third. He caught him there with a punch. He Little caught short it. left hand. There was no count administered, but a definite knockdown. Now, it's interesting that because we do have mandatory eight counts in this country now, so we have to assume Dave Paris did not count that as a knockdown. No, he didn't. He got caught with the punch, but he was standing on his foot at the time, and I think Dave Paris had seen that and seen why he went over. 
Good spot, Glenn. I must say, it did look like an authentic knockdown, but uh, no doubt we'll take another look at that on the old slow motion replay in due course. Ooh. Good solid jab from Hall Gibbs. That really did he knock his head back like a rag doll, didn't he? It? Really did. Oh, oh, good left hook. Too. He's too open. This Carly has got work to do on it with the defence in the gym. And this is a lot better now from Hall Gibbs. He's landing right. with good, very good punches. He's looking at a much more compact, mature professional Hall Gibbs. He's picking off Carly here. This is going to boost his confidence no end, Holgate. It's about as good as I've seen him, Holgate, this. Yes, it is. This is a good performance. We've got to remember that Kelly is still very much in the, in the novice category, only having had one fight, but it was a good amateur. got to the stage though with Martin Holgate where they have to think of moving him up into at least an area title fight or something like that pretty soon now looks ready for it doesn't he he does he looks a uh, much more complete fight I'm, I'm very impressed with his jab he's given away a lot of reach but he's time and time again beating Kalik to the jab and thank goodness this is one poster worker who hasn't adopted the nickname punching postman we've had a few of those <laughs> Bernard Paul, who recently lost to, to Paul Burke, Commonwealth Championship fight. Of course, Tony Thornton was a postman, wasn't he? As well, the American who fought Chris Eubank and Steve Collins. The league trying to change the fight to Hongir for a little spell there, but Hongir just choked up, covered up well, and then got off the rope. A bit of damage by the left eye of Carly. Looks like there might be a cut, and he's hit by a big left hook to end the round getting one-sided. 